Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gradhar Shivasali Tobhata Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Chaitanya Bhagavat by Vrindavan Das Thakur Majalila Chapter 27 My goodness, it's been a long time since I've been able to read from Chaitanya Bhagavat. Hey Krishna. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamani Namaste Saraswati Gave Gauravani Pacharani Nivisesa Sunyavadi Paskachadi Satarani This is description of the awakening of feelings of separation. Glory, glory to Lord Chaitanya, the maintainer of the worlds and the son of Sachi. Glory, glory to the golden lion of Lord Chaitanya, the purifier of the fallen. Thinking they would be separated from the Lord, all the devotees wept. They said, where will the Lord go when he accepts sannyas? Where will we go to see him? When he accepts sannyas, he will not stay in this village. In what direction will he go? In this way, the devotees were wrapped in ecstatic love. By eating, no one felt his body become pleased. That his servants were suffering was not something Lord Chaitanya could tolerate. Becoming cheerful, the Lord instructed everyone. Lord Chaitanya said, why do you worry? I will stay with you at every moment. You all think I will take sannyas, leave you all, and go far away. Please don't think that. I will not leave you for even a moment. All of you always enjoy pastimes with me, not only in this birth, but in birth after birth. In this birth, you will always enjoy blissful sankirtan with me. Birth after birth, whenever I descend to this world, you'll always stay with me. I've descended to this world in two forms. My two forms are Sankirtan and the bliss of deity worship. Please find happiness with these two forms. In my company, you will continue to perform Sankirtan with great joy. To teach the world, I will accept sannyas. Please end all your worries. After speaking these words, the Lord affectionately embraced everyone again and again. The devotees were all somewhat pacified by the Lord's words. After enlightening everyone, Lord Chaitanya returned to his home. Hearing all this news from the others, Mother Sachi almost could not remain alive in that body. Hearing that Lord Chaitanya would accept sannyas, Sachi, the mother of the world, felt a pain she had never known before. In a moment, she fell unconscious to the ground. From her, a stream of tears endlessly flowed. She had no power to stop it. Approaching her, Lotus side, Lord Chaitanya sat down, weeping, Sachi said. Oh, Garanga, don't go, dear son. Don't leave me and go away. Only by gazing at your beautiful face can we stay alive. Your eyes are lotus flowers. Your face is the moon. Your red lips are beautiful, your teeth are pearls and jasmine flowers. Your beautiful words are like nectar showering down on me. If I cannot see your walking and gestures, 
graceful like the movements of a graceful elephant, how can I remain alive? Beginning with Advaita and Srivas, you have a host of followers. Nichinanda is your own life manifested in another form. Beginning with Gradhar, you have a host of dear friends. Please, stay at home and happily perform Sankatan here. Dear son, it is to teach the true religion that you've descended to this world. If you abandon your mother, how will you teach religion? You are religion personified. If you abandon your mother, how will you teach religion to the world? Overcome with love and grief, such he spoke these words. Lord Chaitanya listened. His voice choked with love. Lord Chaitanya gave no reply. Then Sachi said, Your elder brother left me and went away. Then your father went to Vaikuntha. When I see you, I forget all sufferings. If you go away, I will give up this life. Dear son, more dear than life, dear Garanga, look, it's not right for you to abandon your widowed, helpless mother. Perform kirtan with everyone in your own courtyard. Nichananda will help you. I gaze at your love-filled eyes and your long arms. Your words shower nectar upon me, even when there are no lamps. Your limbs fill my house with light. How much nectar rains from your reddish feet. With love and grief, Sachi spoke these words. Lord Chaitanya sat and listened. Sachi was like Kasalya speaking to Lord Ram. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Achinanda are full of bliss and they give bliss to others. I, Vrindavanda, sing the nectar of their glories. In this way, Mother Sachi lamented. Lord Chaitanya lifted his face, but he did not say anything. Sachi had turned white. She was skin and bones. Overcome with grief, she did not eat. Seeing that his mother would not remain alive, Lord Chaitanya sat down in a secluded place and spoke to her certain secrets. Lord Chaitanya said, Mother, please be peaceful at heart. Please listen. For many births I have been your son. Please carefully listen to your own glories. There was a time when you had the name Krishni. There was a time when you were Aditi in Svargaloka. Then also I was your son. At that time I descended to this world and was known as Vamana. Then you were also my mother. Then again you became Devahuti, and I became your son Kapila. Another time you became Kausalya, and I became your son Ramachandra. Another time you became Devaki in Mathura, and you were imprisoned by the demon Kamsa. Then also you were my mother. You were Devaki, and I was your son. I've taken birth twice to begin the Sankirtan movement. Both times I am your son. You are the earth goddess, therefore you are the mother of my deity form. You are also the tongues of everyone, and therefore you are the well mother of my form as the holy name. In this way you're my mother, birth after birth. In my heart I will never leave you. I'm not lying, I speak the truth. Please do not feel unhappy at heart. Hearing the Lord speak these secret truths, Sachi became a little peaceful at heart. The two moons, Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Sri Nichananda, my life and soul, I, Vrindavanda, sing the glories of their feet. Hare Krishna.